Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Pete. And in this short video, we'll take you through all the fun new stuff coming up in our 1.8.2 MPC software update. Version 1.8 has raised MPC to be the gold standard for sample capture, edit and chop. It gives you simply the best environment for making music with real hands-on hardware control of your samples. MPC 1.8 brought you non-destructive chop, our great built-in looper and the new chords and scales performance mode. 182 built on top of all this with a pile more awesome stuff. Not only does NPC Essentials join the 1.8 party, but you get a host of new features. You get the ability to make your own chord progressions, some great main mode workflow enhancements, real-time transpose, both at the track and sequence level, and master tempo control. You also get our new plugin manager, for controlling all of your VST and audio unit inserts and instruments. There's an expansion manager to take control of your MBC expansion packs and two new sample loop types. We just make sample playback better and better. Plus we have integration with Akai's awesome new advanced keyboards. You have to check them out. And there's even more, including a looper gain control and sequencer playback enhancements. So let's check it out. The first thing you'll notice is our new main page layout. We've added audio VU meters to the top section so you can easily see your audio activity from the hardware. We've shrunk the track status display and added MIDI input and output indicators. This is really useful for when you're working with external MIDI equipment. You'll probably have noticed a number of new fields on this page. Next to the sequence BPM, you'll find our master tempo control. By default, the sequencer takes its tempo from the current sequence, but you can quickly flick this to a master tempo value that works across all sequences. You'll also notice the transpose field in the track area. This allows you to adjust the pitch of MIDI events on an individual track in real time. You can even adjust this whilst the sequence is playing. On top of that, in the sequence area, we have an overall sequence transpose parameter. So here I have a short piece of music. With the cursor over the sequence transpose field, I can quickly change the key of my sequence. This works by transposing the MIDI events of any key group, virtual instrument or MIDI track, but leaves your drum tracks alone. This is great for working with vocalists and experimenting with your musical ideas in other keys. Finally, we've streamlined things by moving the MPC Vintage Mode display into the Master Effects page. In MPC 182, we've added a great new plugin manager. Now, if you're anything like me, you have a ton of plugins installed on your computer. Some of them you use all the time, others sit there unloved and just tend to get in the way. The plugin manager is here to save the day. It sits up on the tools menu and provides a great way to manage the raft of VST and audio unit effects you have installed. You can filter the list to show only the instruments or insert effects, and on a Mac you can also filter by the type of effect, VST or audio unit. And this is useful. You can also choose to view bad plugins, the ones that have been detected but have failed to scan for any reason. This is particularly cool as we've added the ability to rescan any bad plugin. Frankly, it's a godsend for all those pesky plugins that require hardware protection devices. On the left is a checkbox that allows you to hide any plugin you don't want to be bothered by. Fed up of seeing that boring demo synth you installed four years ago? Just switch it off. But it gets better than that. On the right hand side is a favourites column. Here you can select your go-to plugins, the things you always reach for. Anything selected here will take pride of place in any MPC plugin selection dialogue. This makes your favourite plugins quicker to access. And as you can see, if you have an Akai Advanced Keyboard, then we detect the great VIP software and place it right at the top for easy access. In MPC 182, we've really made working with your plugins slicker than ever. It's not just plugins that get the management treatment. 
MPC 182 also adds an expansion manager. Like the plugin manager, here you can choose to temporarily disable any expansion you don't want to appear in your expansion browser. It's handy when you've installed a whole pile of expansion kits, but don't want to be distracted by all of them at once. The expansion manager also provides a simple way to uninstall XPN format expansions. One button press will permanently remove the expansions that you no longer want to use. In 1.8, we added real-time sample reverse playback. In 1.8.2, we're extending the sample loop facilities with new alternating loop and reverse loop options. Alternating loop is another sweet trick that took inspiration from the MPC 4000. Here I've got a drum loop that I've chopped into slices. In the samples tab, I can set the loop type to alternating. One of the great applications of alternate loop is when chopping a drum break into slices. Here I've set all of the slices to play back with alternating looping. As I slow the tempo down, you can hear how alternating loop fills in the gaps between chops, preserving the transients as they were recorded. MPC 1.8's awesome new pad perform mode allows you to map scales and chords across your pads. Perhaps the most fun pad perform mode is progressions, where we've provided a bunch of interesting musical chord progressions that help you record great phrases from scratch. In 1.8.2, we're opening this up so you can create your own chord progressions and inject them directly into pad perform mode. It's really easy to do. Just record a chord progression onto a track using a MIDI keyboard or the MPC Grid Editor and select Convert to Progression. MPC identifies each chord you played and automatically works out what each chord is called. Select a name for your new progression and hit Do It. That's it, your new progression is instantly available to play on your pads. Frankly, that's not bad for a minor release version. We could have called this NPC version 1.9. 1.8.2 will be coming out shortly with all these great features and more. As ever, it'll arrive in your NPC software update feed. Follow Akai Pro for more details, and thanks for watching.